to their fellow American citizens to stand up like you're doing here now to say no more war because they're the ones that have to go and fight. They're the ones who have to go against their own conscience and they're the ones who feel good. Strategy for revolution and And that's what's enabled the Democrats this time to appear to be heroes in opposition. But of course we know, we know very well from bitter experience that they're only heroes in opposition in order the better, the more effectively to sell us out, to sell us down the bloody river when they get back into office. Because that's what they've done for generations. The Democrats are where movements go to die. before the case was thrown out. We say that the city of Chicago needs to recognize and admit that what they did was wrong and they will not do it again. And when we're talking about economics, you should know that the city of Chicago has paid attorneys to represent the police seven million dollars to represent them for the illegal arrest that they did. For today's rally in March, so please thank you, thank you very much. And with that, I'm going to call up Chris Giovannis, who's going to be speaking. She's a longtime organizer with CCAWR, Chicago Coalition Against War and Racism, and also with Chicago Indie Media. Please welcome Chris. Okay, take one minute and turn around and shake the hand of the person on your left. Us, because we are the only people, just us, who will bring real, lasting, durable justice to this nation. Thank you. We're now going to hear just a brief update on the um, legal situation and a civil liberties victory that we've had here in Chicago. Then, when they detained and arrested about 900 of us as we were lawfully, legally protesting the war in Iraq, the National Lawyers Guild represented every single person who was falsely arrested and every single case was dismissed. We then filed a class action lawsuit on behalf of everybody, um, 900 people roughly, and we were about to go to trial since the city refused to settle when the case was dismissed by the trial judge. On the 7th...
whether that be women's rights groups, whether that be labor groups, whether it be youth movements, or just the hundreds of thousands of people that have shown out to demand a dignified life. You know, I think one of the themes that we've heard as these protests emerge is that people are they're asking for more than democracy, they're asking for a life with dignity. So we definitely want to support that. And Jail Bradley Manning for standing up and telling the truth that that's what he indeed did do. And the real criminals are the ones who let Governor Walker of Wisconsin roam the state street instead of being in jail. So, so let's stand together, sisters and brothers. U.S. out of the Middle East, no more on Libya, and the occupation of Iraq, Palestine, and Afghanistan now. opportunity to leave. The police did not do that. I hope the police read the decision. I hope they learn that what they did was legally wrong. And this is a case that has been going on for eight years. From Afghanistan called the Afghan Youth Peace Volunteers. And uh, right now on the ground we have a solidarity delegation of 27 people who have met up with the Afghan Youth Peace Volunteers to support them in a campaign for nonviolent options for Afghanistan. And that's uh, it's called Live Without Wars, and, um, and if you go to livewithoutwars.org, you can check it out. Um, so anyways, I'm glad to be here standing in solidarity with people as we oppose these ongoing wars, and uh, peace. campaigns we're thinking about 